the report of the activity based on hospital waste management standard 9 science part 2 aim of the activity to visit a nearby hospital and collect information about how waste is managed introduction medical care is vital for our life and health but the waste generated from medical activities presents a real problem improper management of waste generated in healthcare facilities causes a direct health impact on the community healthcare workers and the environment hence such waste requires specific treatment and manage prior to its final disposal awareness about the need of hospital waste management among the healthcare personnel is of paramount importance need of the activity the problem of solid waste management is becoming severe day by day in urban areas there is a greater proportion of generated waste the most hazardous among these is hospital waste since there are many potentially dangerous atoms in the hospital waste therefore a special care has to be taken to manage such a waste worldwide each and every hospital needs to follow certain set of rules before they dispose their waste methodology first survey and interviews with hospital staff second collect the information by internet surfing third write the collected information in a proper order these are some observations related to this activity first biomedical waste may be solid or liquid most of these may be infectious second infectious waste are handled with utmost care such waste include discarded blood unwanted bacterial cultures and stocks identifiable body parts which have been removed during surgeries other human or animal tissue used bandage and dressings discarded gloves etc third leak proof containers are used for storage of such matter these containers are so tough that they can prevent breakage during handling containers of biomedical waste are marked with a biohazard symbol fourth sharps means contaminated and used or unused needles scalpels used syringe etc such sharp articles are stored in containers till the time of their disposal fifth at some large hospital there are private incinerators in the incinerator biomedical waste is burned incineration destroy pathogens and sharps the discarded body parts are converted into ash sixth at time the bleaching powder or bleach solution is used for disinfecting such waste depending upon the type of waste solution of sodium hydroxide and other chemical disinfectants are used seven the segregation of biomedical waste recommend the following color coding red bag syringe without needles soil gloves catheters iv tube etc are all disposed of in a red colored bag yellow bag dressing bandage and cotton swabs with body fluid blood bags human anatomical waste body parts are collected in yellow bag cardboard box with blue marking glass vials ampoules and other glassware is to be discarded in a cardboard box with a blue marking white puncture proof container ppc needles sharps blades are disposed of in a white translucent puncture proof container black bags black bags are used for non biomedical waste such as stationery vegetable and fruit peels leftovers packaging of medicine disposable items such as tea cups 
sweeping dust, kitchen bags, etc. Conclusion First, steps in the management of biomedical waste are generation, accumulation, careful handling, storage, treatment, transport and disposal. Second, in India there is the Biomedical Waste Rules 1998. This rule is further amended for the regulation of biomedical waste management. Third, however, except for a few large hospitals, in most of the smaller units and clinics, the waste disposal is still a major problem. Fourth and last conclusion is, in order to save other lives, the biomedical waste should be disposed with utmost care. With these references, we have collected the information for our activity. If you like this video, please share, subscribe and thank you.